Hi, welcome back with me plant do home and garden. This time, I'll give you video about top 10 great trees for your patio area. Well, before go to the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports this channel. Also, you can turn on the bell for more updated videos. Okay, let's go to the video. Number 1. Fernleaf Full Moon Maple. With its dense foliage of medium green, deeply lobed leaves, full moon maple, Acer japonicum, adds a lot of texture to the landscape, fall color is usually brilliant red, red-orange or orange-yellow, depending on the cultivar. Maturing to a height of about 20 to 30 feet, it can be grown as either a small tree or large shrub. Smaller cultivars are available. Full moon maple is native to Japan, a cousin to the commonly named Japanese maple that's actually Acer palmatum. Not heat tolerant, USDA zones 5 to 7. Number 2. Crepe Myrtle. The mid to late summer flowers, when few other shrubs or trees are blooming, is one of Crepe Myrtle's best features. Its bark, shown off on a multi trunked form, varies from creamy white to gray to sandy brown to cinnamon, depending on the species and cultivar. Ladger Streamia SP comes in a wide range of sizes, from dwarf to the typical tree, which averages 20 to 30 feet tall. Flowers can be pink, lavender, rose, almost red and white. USDA Zones 6 to 9. Number 3. Amor Maple. A lovely little tree with a wide-spreading canopy, the Amor Maple, Amor Janala, can either be a large shrub or a small tree, but it's more often limbed up to show off its strong sculptural form. One of the first maples to leaf out in the spring, the Elmor maple later offers reddish winged fruits. Mature size is usually 15 to 18 feet high and wide. USDA zones 3 to 8. Number 4. Dwarf Poinciana Tree. Also called Mexican Bird of Paradise, the Dwarf Poinciana, says Alpinia pulcherima, blooms from spring to early winter. In Florida, this plant can grow to a 10 to 20 foot tree, in drier climates, it's usually a shrub up to 10 feet tall. Prune in early to mid-fall, removing only 18 to 24 inches of growth, this will get rid of the seed pods and rejuvenate the tree for its next season of flowering. USDA Zone 9A Number 5. Fringa tree. In mid-spring, the fringa tree earns its name with fleecy clouds of white flowers. There are two main types, the Chinese fringa tree, USDA zones 6 to 8, and white fringa tree, USDA zones 4 to 9, with lots of variety within each species. Both types, especially Chinese fringa tree, tolerate a wide range of soils. Number 6. Kusa dogwood. Kusa dogwood produces its flowers after the leaves have appeared, which puts its bloom period a few weeks later in spring than flowering dogwood, and the flowers seem to hold for weeks. Even better, Kusa dogwood has much better disease resistance, while C. Florida's is susceptible to anthracnose. Kusa dogwood typically grows 20 to 30 feet high and wide but, as it ages, often gets wider than its height. USDA Zones 5 to 8. The beloved flowering dogwood continues to be the target of intense research. Cultivars thought to be resistant to anthracnose are trickling into the market. Number 7. Japanese Maple. The Japanese maple is one of the classiest trees around, whether it's the weeping threadleaf form that typically creates a broad mound or the upright form that makes a small shade tree. Typical size of the mature tree is 15 to 30 feet tall and wide. USDA zones 5 to 8. Number 8. Washington Hawthorn. White flowers in late spring, a beautiful canopy of dark green leaves that turn red and orange in the fall, and bright red berries that hang on the tree deep into winter, you can't ask for a nicer tree of any size. You can forgive it for having thorns, but its prickly nature means that pruning has to be done with gloves. 
Mature size of the Washington Hawthorn is 25 to 30 feet tall and somewhat less wide, 20 to 25 feet. USDA zones 3 to 8. Number 9. Golden Rain Tree. The golden rain tree makes a great street tree because of its good form and tolerance of heat and drought, pollution, acid or alkaline soils. But it's in midsummer when this attractive tree really shines, its canopy literally covered in dangling yellow flowers. After the flowers come green papery pods, which unfortunately turn unkempt when they age to brown in late summer. Mature height is usually 30 to 40 feet high and wide. USDA zones 5 to 8. Number 10. Eastern Redbud. A sentinel of spring, the eastern redbud breaks its winter dormancy with an explosion of pink. Grows to 20 to 30 feet tall and slightly wider. Adapts to a wide range of soils as long as they're not permanently wet. Grows on the west coast as well as it does in the east. Downside, raking up the brown seed pods in the fall. The heart-shaped leaves of the species are bluish-green, but forest pansy has burgundy leaves that fade with hot weather. USDA Zones 4 to 9. Thanks for watching my video about top 10 great trees for your patio area. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports our channel. Well, see you in the next videos.